Welcome to the Travel Squad Podcast, where adventure meets inspiration. We're your hosts. I'm Brittany. I'm Kim. And I'm Jamal. Together, we explore international destinations, hike epic national parks, and share unforgettable travel experiences with you, one passport stamp at a time. Our mission is to inspire you to travel by showing you how you can make it work no matter your budget, schedule, or experience level. We bring you along so that you can laugh, get excited, and start planning your own trip. So grab your ticket and your passport. And don't forget your travel insurance. And get ready to embark on a new adventure with us around the globe. Hey, squaddies. Hey, squaddies. Hey, squaddies. Travel Squad Podcast is back with Just the Tip, a new Friday mini episode series where we give you quick travel stories, hacks, and recommendations to set you off into the weekend right. Today, we're sharing our top 10 things that you need to pack like an expert traveler. So most of the time, we try to be carry-on people without trying to sacrifice options and comfort. So these are the best things that we use to make packing easier and more comfortable for us along the journey. Number one, packing cubes. And these come in handy when you want to pack a million outfits, you don't know what to wear, you want your options, or you know, you're know you packing enough underwear to shit yourself 10 times a day. It used to be three, now it's 10 as we've gotten older. Oh, well, because you have the packing cube now, you could fit more. You know? <laughs> the packing cubes are very helpful for that. They're also really, really good for when you're traveling in the winter and you have jeans and pants and jackets and bigger clothing and you need layers it really helps to condense it all down and i used to not be a packing cube person i think we should specify here we're talking about compressible packing cubes so it will really make everything fit a lot better into your suitcase not only just keeping it organized but really compressing it down so that you can fit more in there i couldn't live without packing cubes now that i've had them for a full year now they are my number one go-to whenever I start to pack. I have a four pack. They come in four different sizes. And any t- if I'm using a large luggage, I'm almost using all of them. But if I'm using a carry-on, I use two or three at a time. I have stuffed my packing cubes so big before that I couldn't even zip them up. So I think I need to invest in another set pretty soon here. You can never have too many packing cubes. Number two on the list for you guys is going to be shoe bags. We've talked about this many times before. The shoe bags keeps those dirty shoes off your clean clothes. It's great if you have hiking shoes or water trips for you to throw in those water shoes uh, when they get super dirty. The shoe bags can be washed. So this item really comes in handy for you guys. You know, when I first started packing, I would just shove everything into like, you know, just a plastic bag. I'd shove my shoes in a plastic bag. But these shoe bags have changed the way I pack my shoes. I like to put my sandals in there and I can fit two or three pairs of sandals in one shoe bag at a time. So you can fit more than one pair depending on the size of your shoe. The shoe bags that we have link, they come in a four pack with two different sizes. The larger size is perfect for my hiking boots or Jamal shoes. The smaller size is great for my sandals or my regular like tennis shoes or everyday shoes. I don't go on any trip without them. Can I tell you guys something? You don't have shoe bags. Every single time we talk about shoe bags, I think I need to get shoe bags. It's just like the wool socks thing. And while we were on this call, as of one minute ago, I am the proud new owner of a two-pack of shoe bags. Oh, my goodness, Kim. I'm so glad after (laughs) us talking about it. Well, they're great. You don't have to shove them in a plastic bag. They have a zipper. keeps everything clean and organized for you. I really do love them. I love them, too. And and as someone that's trying to pack only a carry-on, I'm trying to get as much clothing surrounding every spare inch that I have available. And so sometimes I have to pack clothing next to shoes. And this last trip that I went on, I was disgusted. And so the shoe bags it is. I don't know if they're going to fit my tall cowgirl boots, but we'll see what we can do. Number three on our list is a jewelry organizer. So specifically a soft shell jewelry organizer. You can pack less and rewear things if you have enough accessories to style it differently. And the one that Kim has, and she's been hyping it up for a while now, The necklaces don't get tangled, their rings have their own spot, their earrings have their own holes, and there's a ton of different zippers and pockets. This one specifically is a game changer. It opens like a notebook and it has a flap in the middle. 
So yeah, it has the spots for the rings, the earrings, but the necklaces in particular, I would always travel with my necklaces and they would come back knotted and I would end up throwing them away because it was too hard to get them unraveled. This one has a clip or a little like snap button clip that you open to hang the necklace in it and then you snap it closed so it's secured and then it also has pockets so you put the end of the necklace in the pocket, the other side is snapped closed so they don't tangle, they stay exactly where they're supposed to be, you can see them so you know what jewelry that you brought and you can turn like Brittany said three outfits into nine real quick. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. How to get 30, 30, how to get 30, how to get 20, 20, 20, how to get 20, 20, how to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month? So Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. In breaking news, leading scientists worldwide are conducting experiments to determine if Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are the perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. However, it appears the study was inconclusive, as the scientists couldn't help but eat all the Reese's. Because when you want something sweet, you can't do better than Reese's. Find Reese's now at a store near you. A favorite of mine, which is number four, is a pill organizer. It comes in a four pack, and so you can use one for travel, but you can also keep your other packs in the office or at work or one in the car, etc. But it has several different compartments. On one side, it has two different larger areas, and then on the other side, it has, I think, six smaller areas. But I, on the larger sides, put Tylenol and ibuprofen, and then on the smaller sides, I put things like Benadryl or any other small pills that I need. And it's a perfect size to fit them all in. I think I need to invest in this one because I have one old Excedrin bottle and like seven different types of pills in it that I don't always know what they are. I kind of take a guess. That's usually what I travel with. But I want to ask you this. On the big side, how many Excedrin do you think can fit in one of the sections? I'm probably going to not be super accurate, but I would probably say at least 20 maybe 30. That's a good amount because that's something I always travel with, Excedrin, because if I have even two drinks of sangria when I'm in Spain, I will get a headache and Excedrin is the only thing that's going to fix that. Well, it's the headache medicine and that's Kim over 30 for you too. I, guess. <laughs> <laughs> I have Excedrin in every room in my house, my car, my suitcase. And the other thing I always travel with, we wouldn't go in the pill organizer, but eye drops. Those are so clutch when traveling. I think we could do a whole episode just on like first aid items to pack. I probably could. I always am super prepared in that regard too. A little Miss Nurse over here. Why wouldn't she be good at that episode giving you guys all that good information? Number five on the list for you guys is going to be a collapsible water bottle. This is a game changer here. Instead of your normal water bottle that you have that may be, you know, travel size, stainless steel, this comes in handy. Basically, it is your own water bottle, and then when it's not in use, you can actually fold it down. So if you're out roaming a new city and you finish drinking your water, you don't want to carry your water bottle, you can just compress it down and fit it in your pocket, or as a woman, fit it in your purse and not have it take a lot of space. So really comes in handy, and I love it. Now, ever since I've gotten it, I don't travel with my normal stainless steel water bottle anymore. It fits really nicely in your purse. It fits greatly in my purse. <laughs> I was in an Uber ride coming back from Orange Beach, Alabama to Pensacola, Florida. It's about an hour drive. I was sitting in the front seat of this man's truck and I was getting close to the airport. So I chugged my water and I collapsed it down and he looked over and he said, well, that looks nifty. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves that. <laughs> Number six, my favorite travel item. I will not go anywhere. This has to be not in your checked bag, not in your carry-on, but your personal item. It's the Take-On Travel Pillow. It's the most comfortable, most amazing travel pillow you will ever use. Ever since I've had it, like when I accidentally have forgotten it on trips, I just want to cry when I'm on the plane. 
It props your head up and you can use it anywhere. It's so comfortable. You guys get it, right? Like it's the best. Mm -hmm. I love it. I take it on any trip. If you're going international or if your flight's more than three hours, absolutely must have on the plane. And just Google it to get a good image. I mean, Kim said it keeps your head propped up. Don't think about like the little round half donut or tire travel pillow that you're used to. This is a completely different design that you would not expect that keeps you propped up. You can kind of lean to the side, gives you really good support. Absolutely love this travel pillow. I mean, without them visually seeing it, it I, the best way to describe it is it almost looks like a neck brace in a way. Yes. I have a neck great brace. Way to describe it. <laughs> well, I love that pillow, but I got to say, I also love my laundry bag, which is item number seven that we have on our list. It folds down into itself and then it zippers on the end. And then when you have it completely unraveled, it's a drawstring bag. You can fit so much in it and it helps keep all of your dirty clothes away from your clean clothes. But you can also use it in reverse like we're going on this girl's backpacking trip. So all of my clean clothes are going to start in it. I'm going to put them aside in the tent in the backpacking trip. And then I'm going to start to shove everything dirty back in for when we on our way out. It's going to help keep my backpacking backpack nice and clean. And bonus tip, I always put a few of the dryer sheets in it to help keep the clothes smelling fresh. And they just pack right into it really nicely. And I love ours. I have one. Jamal has one. Kim, you got one? A laundry bag? I have a drawstring laundry bag that was a freebie from the Atlantis at the Palms Hotel in Dubai. Oh, yes. That, rock that one till you can't rock it no more. <laughs> then I know you're going to be on it because the laundry bag travel game is really important to have to keep those clothes separated or in a unique case like that backpacking trip you ladies are going to be taking just in that situation. Number eight is going to be something that you wouldn't even really think of as a travel product, but it really is carabiners. And the reason why we put this on the list is because maybe sometimes we can't pack like the travel pro that we really think or want to be, right? And you need that extra space. Well, the carabiner can latch that travel pillow that you're talking about, Kim. Your backpack's full, have a lot of stuff. You want snacks, books, other things in there. Where are you going to fit that travel pillow? You don't want to hang on to it. Clip it to the carabiner. Maybe you don't have that collapsible water bottle yet, and you have your normal water bottle, and it has a nice little handle. Flip it to the carabiner. Any little travel extra that you have that can't fit in the backpack is really nice to put on the carabiner as an attachment. And I really think comes in handy. Because here's the tip, right? You're allowed a carry-on and a personal item. But as many things as you can clip onto your personal item, still just one personal item. That's travel hacking to a different degree there, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Just clip it on. That's my motto. I know. You just got to tell the airline, <laughs> hey, it's part of one bag. Number nine is going to be your ear pods. Whichever brand you prefer or a $20 cheapy brand off of Amazon, do not trouble without these because you're going to want it on a plane. Say you have you know, some crying babies or or maybe you, you can't fall asleep without music. I know, Brittany, you've gotten into the sound machine. So having mm -hmm. that background noise is really good. I find it's a lot easier to sleep on a plane if I put my AirPods in and I just have something going, whether it's an audiobook or a podcast or something I've downloaded off of Netflix. Whether I watch it or not, I fall asleep so much easier than hearing the hustle and bustle of the plane. You know, my favorite reason why I like it and it makes it a good travel product, it's a good everyday product, but let's not kid ourselves. There are mo more coach and economy seats than there are business class seats. And sometimes, you know, you're cramped for space. You don't want to reach into your carry-on, have traditional headphones that are wired, and then it's like you're so awkward in a crowded space digging in your backpack trying to find it, then trying to untangle it. Whereas the pods, they just fit in a little container. You can put it in your pocket. Don't even have to have it in your backpack. Don't have to deal with the mess of untangling it. It just makes your in-seat experience, I think, a lot easier too, in addition to all the pros that you just had mentioned. A lot of airlines too are not installing personal televisions on the back of the seat in front of you. So you have to use your own phone for entertainment. And at least on the iPhones nowadays, they don't have the old school clips 
for old school earphones. So you need to bring your own Bluetooth or wired headphones so that you can use your personal device for entertainment during your in-flight experience. We have one final thing on this list for you. And I think, Kim, you should bring it up because I feel like <laughs> you're the one who really needs this one more than anybody. Or I shouldn't say need it. That you don't We all need it. You free you well, yes, but you forget <laughs> it. I don't want to say need it as in bad breath. And I think I've alluded maybe to what it could possibly be. So why don't you take this one then, Kim? Number 10, do not forget to pack your toothbrush. <laughs> or you are going to be sharing with whoever you're traveling with. I can't tell you the amount of people that I've shared toothbrushes with on various trips over the years because I have forgotten them. It's, I mean, it is fun. So maybe give it a shot, but it's not fun if you don't have someone there reliable to share one with. Toothbrush, and I don't recommend just any toothbrush. Get one of those foldable ones so it saves space. I now keep my foldable travel toothbrush in my TSA approved toiletries bag. So it's always there when I go on a trip. But I will just add this little tip bonus on is go ahead and throw in one of those small travel toothpaste. And next time I go to the store, I'm actually going to buy these in bulk because I always run out after a trip, right? This last trip I went on to Fort Worth, I forgot toothpaste. And it was fine the first night when I was in a hotel with a friend. But the second night we got split up. We were staying at a friend's house. I was in my own room. And I could not brush my teeth that night or that morning. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that, that's why this was on the list. And, Kim, you had to intro it because you are the chronic I forgot my toothbrush mistake person. Yep. And with that, squaddies, thank you so much for tuning in to Just the Tip. We will link all these products in the show notes if you want to not forget your toothbrush, too. Travel like an all-star. You need all of these items here to make your travel experience better. Make sure to subscribe, leave a review, and follow us on all social media platforms at Travel Squad Podcast. And we hope you have fun traveling this weekend. Bye, squaddies. <laughs>